Welcome to Steph Reacts. We are going to react to another episode of CP's podcast. But before we get there, do you know your daily facts of the day? Your daily fact says, Cleveland was once the country's fifth largest city behind the likes of Detroit, Philadelphia, Chicago, and New York. I didn't know that, but now you do. Let's go. Mm. It's a lot to talk about. Yes, sir. You know what we're not going to talk about today, but I do want to talk about in the future. I want to do a deep dive on this Simpsons knowing the future theory. Mm. I know that we do a lot of like crazy, serious style, like um, conspiracies and everything is like deep and connected. And you know what I'm saying? Also, man. Boy, the Simpsons was re- very, very accurate in a lot of things. I think they were one of the few cartoons to to um, predict 9-11. I, I think they did. I think there was a few videos out with that. I don't know how true it is, how accurate it is. I don't know when they released it, but I've seen a few clips. But it's, it seems like they were very accurate. I got a lot to talk about today, and I know um, I usually don't know the topic, but with, I, I, I hit you up. Like, we got to talk about this. Um, uh, but, yeah, it's just, like, stuff like The Simpsons and just, you know, that Donald Trump thing with him coming down the escalator and then the sign falls and the sign falls. Oh, yeah. Hmm. It's like, whoa. I think I listened to this when it happened, and the, there seems to be some explanation, but I'll gladly look into it again. Mm-hmm. Stuff like that. Um, definitely let me know the heads up so I can do you know, like the okay. in depth research. But yeah, okay. I like that. I want to, you know, I want to talk about it. I'm gonna talk about why do the Simpsons know all this shit, and from there I want to go into the possibility of time travel. Mm-hmm. Right. Ooh. Who's doing it? The time travel. You know, they got those videos of those guys walking through, like, 1920s traffic with a phone. You know what I'm saying? Like, just walking down the street with, like, an a, a iPhone. See, my instinct is I could see how you... I, I can't... I can't really ag- agree with those clips because I think technology and green screen and the way tech is now, any person in that graphical area who who um who qualify in that area can always fool us because I think they could always take themselves and put themselves in the video and make it look like the current things you may see. They may look make it look like that time, you know. So you can't really trust that all the time, CP. You can't trust it. Down a green screen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I agree. So, so I'm like, okay, I would like to look into it. Not to say that it wouldn't happen. And if the Simpsons did know the future, it makes more sense to me. And this also sounds crazy. It makes more sense to me that they are part of the organization making the future, you know? And that's what do you not, mean? Because uh, if they you're doing that. things, okay. if you're the doing the things and, and you can say, I know that this is going to happen, it's like, well, because you know the guy who did it. Right. But they had that episode where they showed the Illuminati, right? How you could duck off into a different street and, oh. like, go down a road and be. But then they also. Stone cutters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They also showed that who was the stone cutters. Mm-hmm. And it was all the people that we kind of knew from the cast of The Simpsons, which theoretically, we, The Simpsons, are, you know what I'm saying? This, maybe, you know what I'm saying? Like, maybe they were trying to tell us that, you know, because they just know a lot of shit. I mean, maybe. I, I would like to look into it. I'll yeah. I'll gladly look into that. Do you want to do that? No, next week. It's the longest running cartoon ever. Like, it is. 
in like adult animation. Yeah. I haven't seen the past 15 years of it, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest, too. Probably more than that, but I used to be addicted. You know? My kids are watching it right now. They had, they had some, like, probably five or six fire, fire seasons, and then mm -hmm. it kind of uh, fell off. But, yeah, because... And this is why I, I get confused by the stuff that's out right now. People say it happened, and did it really happen in the episode? Now I gotta go find the episode. Because they say that, did Lisa Simpson really replace Donald Trump as president or when she becomes president? I don't know. Did she? She replaced him? I don't remember. But exactly. I remember right oh, sorry. Well, exactly. People were saying uh, Lisa Simpson replaced Donald Trump. So I gotta go back and watch the episode because people just lie all the time. Yeah. Yeah, that's wild. I would like to check that out. Anyway, Caffeine, what up, though? We in the chat, man. Let me see what y'all talking about. Happy to be back, man. I got some guests coming in, man. We gonna definitely kick this shit off, but while they getting ready, I know what these niggas doing. What they making, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or some shit? I don't know what they doing. God damn. But um, we, we, gonna, we gonna kick it off in a minute, man. In the meantime, let's get in these comments, man. Get in the chat, talk some shit, and get prepared, man. What y'all think about that last episode of Roast Me? There we go. There we go. What's good? What's good? The episode, the last episode of Roast Me, I do believe they may be speaking about episode five. If they are, that episode was one of the best. I, I really enjoyed that episode, to be honest. There they go. There they go. Black Ryan and Celebrity. This nigga Black Ron look like uh, he about to uh, do that walk with Michael Jackson. Like, man, you got to walk like. <laughs> nigga Black Ron, boy, that's a smooth ass look, man. man You'll like the way you look. We guarantee it. Looking right, ass man. nigga. Me, it's on sale right now. Amir, what up, fam? What's good, man? Yeah, yeah. You don't know me, but I know you. You know Maya? I, I know you. No. Hell no. Black Ron. Nobody know Maya. Man. Yeah, right. Maya, yeah. you know what Maya been doing? What? She been wearing her glasses less and face makeup a lot more. And I don't appreciate it. What you mean? I don't know who to talk. We lit. We 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 lit. I don't know who we, to listen, this is this is this is the hottest so podcast. Skin. This is the hottest podcast out. We gotta we we come in looking, you know what I'm saying? It's how it goes. Remember how the Power Rangers had the show, but then when they got the movie, they suits was metal. Right. Uh, it was like, oh right. shit, they didn't came, came up. They didn't came up. Per episode is going up. Even the monsters went up. Yeah, what was the yeah. what was the gold gorilla nigga name? Uh, uh the flying gold gorilla, right? Yeah, the, the gorilla he, he with, with the Rita's wings, like right hand man. Yeah, yeah, Rita. Yeah, he yeah, yeah. Like the tea off the Shout out to having a having a Rita villain Rita. with a ghetto bitch name. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Here come Rita. That's good. Here come Rita. And she was like a short. She reminded me of the lady out Cheers. Yeah, yeah, she did. Man, you a Carla. She put you in a man of Carla. I get that. But look, this is what fucked me up before we even start the podcast. Power Rangers was only shot just the school stuff. Mm -hmm. The fights was a Japanese ripoff. All rip -off. over the... Yeah. Man, zip pure, zip, zip pure. And when you go back and watch that shit, like as an adult, <laughs> boring, you see bro. like, they wouldn't know. They always pointing and nodding and Ooh, shit. Ooh, Goldar. Like, Goldar was the, was the gorilla God, name. Somebody shout out to... Uh, Shout out to Anzio. Goldar. Was, Hell yeah. It was slightly racist. Hey, I Goldar damn near. like a big old black, black man. I need a Goldar shirt, dog. Like he had a jet cut, Man, Goldar shade. somewhere out of work. I believe Harambe was one of his grandsons or his son. Had to have been. And niggas had to, niggas had to check on Goldar. Had to have niggas got to check on, check on your strong friends. Ancestry. Goldar man. had a deep voice. Man, man. Goldar was a black. Even in reality, yes. You got to check on your strong friends because all um. In life, you may see us strong friends always talking positive, motivational stuff to encourage your friends and everyone else around you. But, you know, sometimes there'll be days when they may feel down, depressed, don't have anyone to talk to, and everyone may just feel as though they are just fine because that's the, that's the way they betray themselves. But sometimes you really, really get a check up on them. I, uh, I'm speaking from experience in my opinion. You have to. You really need to. Black man, bro. He yeah. was always the first one dispatched. Yeah. On some old yep. loyal henchman yeah. type shit. Facts. It was a Facts. problem. He was anyway. He was killing. Hey, man, go ahead. See? 
Wow. Let's put dog. that together. Yeah. Welcome to the CP Podcast, man. Yeah. Y'all know what it is, man. On this podcast, we talk about everything that nobody want to talk about, but everybody want to motherfucking hear about. Mm-hmm. And you know what it is. I always got my intelligent, amazing, beautiful, informational, uh, I don't even want to call it a sidekick. This is my partner of crime, uh, Maya, on the wow. scene. And then, you know, we have our Zordon, the the pilot to the ship. Like, God damn it, man, give us 17 more knots. <laughs> Amir on the boards. And then, you know, sometimes, you know, like I told y'all, you know, I'm going to give y'all a special guest every now and then. You know what I'm saying? This is my motherfucking podcast. Yeah. If the guest ain't special, then they're not finna be on here. That's just what it is. <laughs> and it's one of my favorite motherfucking comedians, man. I don't even remember. Uh, I met this nigga over a, a plate of his mac and cheese. That's how I met this nigga. Remember, uh, you was... Uh, at the barbecue. Yeah. Damn show. This nigga said, I'm like, who made him mac and cheese? He was like, I did. I'm like, nigga, what the fuck? You don't look like you can cook, but then you do look like you can cook. You like you boil a lot of shit. That's the that's the kind of face you got. Yeah, like you, <laughs> you like you boil a lot of shit. You could you could boil them potatoes. You could boil them ribs. You hey, you ever had some boiled ribs? No, that why would you do that to a rib? Because you want to cut down the time on the grill. So nah, you, you know what I'm saying. That's cheap. I never did that. You I'm, cooked that meat with fire until that meat. Hey was man, done. I never did that. Don't nod. I mean, I'm just saying it's some it's a it's an old southern when you have like people had in restaurants, they're brining them ribs in like a hot kind of like hot brine? Yeah. That is they doing uh, they they doing two hundred slabs a day, Black Ron. I'm sorry, it ain't enough no, hours like, in a like, day. You go to like chilies and shit, like they uh, boil they ribs there. No, I'm talking they... about like I'm talking about like your favorite smokehouse. They got away where them ribs is prepped before they getting Quit. straight they to that fire. Like, ain't why nobody the ribs cheating, don't man. Taste like your shit, uncle, man. that line be out the door. That line be out the door. You know it. Cause niggas are yep. lazy. If a nigga tell you they boil the rib, you'd be like, bet that line mm-hmm. is short enough. Let me get it in. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't need. I didn't need to know that. Give me a bite. <laughs> that was none of my business. Let me get two, uh, two, two slabs. Like what if they told you your 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 hamburger patty was like half fried That's when good. it came to the restaurant. I don't want that. Like the patties come out the box half fried. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That'd be all right. Cause they 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 have to cook the motherfuckers anyway. So not a half you didn't cook. <laughs> It's, it's, it's finna get cooked. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Now at least my yeah. burger yeah, done. Now at least my motherfucking through. burger done. God damn it. Like, yeah, you ain't finna turn my nose up to fast food. I understand what it is. It's fast. Yeah, but it ain't food. Like, it, it's it's not as food as, as food that takes a long time. You, you ever notice why that's why they don't call it food fast? They call it fast, fast food, food because yeah. it's it is food because it's edible, but it's a certain kind of. It's the fast yeah, kind. Yeah, it's the fast kind. Every yeah, chicken yeah. nugget is either shaped like a boot or an ear. Yeah. Yeah, because them is what they using. Yeah, the it's, it's, it's a mold. Yeah. Punch, punch, punch. It's cutting out boots and nuggets. I, I want to know who was the first company to make nuggets. And that, the reason why they all boot and ear shape now is because it had to been a group of sisters that was in there handballing <laughs> them damn nuggets. And it had... Well, you know what? It's funny you brought this up, Black mm-hmm. Ron, because mm-hmm. I always, I'm sick of this. How come a lot of things are shaped like dicks when dicks came out first? Wow. <laughs> like, they. CP is really on something on this podcast. What is he talking about, man? They had a choice how to make the microphone. They did. They had a choice how to make the hot dog. The hot dog being of more vagina shape could have held the mustard, could have held the toppings. But to that oh, point, no. to that point, what if you get a Coochie really, dog? What you if know you what get saying? a really deep hot dog and you don't know how much mustard it can hold? Like some, I'm not of them, t- some of them are two two squeeze, some uh-huh. of them like three squeeze. Like what if what if you what if you bite into it thinking it's a three squeeze hot dog and that's a one squeeze? Now mustard go everywhere. Look at how exciting yeah. that is though. It is. Look at how exciting that is. Oh, what? it's a squirter. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, now yeah. I gotta go back to work. Oh, everybody, oh the barbecue was lit. Was the you know what I'm saying? Where the kids at? We got 17 coochies on the grill. Also, a coochie shaped microphone would cover up your whole face. I'm so tired of being alone. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Right. Like, like hey, man, but, normally, but hold on, hold on, hold on. But if it's all we knew, it all it, it'd be all we knew though. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Like, you know, you. I'm not gonna hold you. CP funny, but he 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 really be screaming in the mic though. <laughs> he really really be screaming. You right. speaking in as no, in you know like right, but if it's right. all we knew, that's all we knew. First idea, yeah. shape. Why is it popsicles everything? We've been conditioned to shape to accept phallic shaped objects. Yeah, as the norm. It's no coochie shaped foods. Mm-hmm. 
oranges, but you got to well, get like, it there. Yeah, it's like yeah. all your fruits. You got to get it there, right? The but see, that's everything that the mother nature giving us. Right. All mm-hmm. this man made shit is really all the dick it's shit. All dick shit. Dumplings. Yeah. You right? And yeah. if they got the soup in them, that is yeah. very much so coochie resembling. Yeah. Macaroons. Mm-hmm. Mm. Macaroons. What is them little joints with the little jelly in the middle? Like the little, they come from like Nors or like Pepperidge Farm. Oh. They got like the little apricot jam. That's like the filling, you know, you know how they fill it. Yeah. I, I know what he's talking about though. The raspberry jam is like a little <laughs> shortbread cookie with the jelly hey, in the middle. Wait, the nigga say jam like a homeless nigga. Well, you know, <laughs> I like jam. 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 Uh, strawberry jam. This right here? Yes. No, no, nah, nah, those that, that's that's, that's more good, titty than a. Bro. That's more no. Nah, that's that's more. They didn't even show us anything. They just show us a blank screen. I don't know if they didn't show it on the caffeine screen or what, but they need to do that again. That ain't no. The feed not coming through. They can't see what it is. Yeah. I'm just saying that that would be more coochie resembling than dick resembling. No, that look like a goddamn cufflink. He said that's star. (laughs) That's That's like a cufflink. Now, the star would be more like booty hole. Hey, yeah, okay, you're right, you're right. right. But then it's like, I'm so glad that's not a chocolate star. No, see, booty hole too ambidextrous. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, nigga, we need. Everybody got booty hole. Yeah, no, no. Somebody said pot stickers. I did not know they were called thumbprint cookies. You learn something new every day. I just called them. Candy, little jelly in the middle with the jam. Uh, oh, jam. Knott's Berry Farm. Them be the ones. That's the best one. They gave us them on yeah. commissary. Hell, yeah. Y'all had yeah, them yeah. in jail? Mm-hmm. Pepper's Farm? Mm-hmm. Shout out no, to Pepper's no, Farm. No, no, I don't no, like nothing no. with farm on it. That, that just sound like, and then we get our cookies to the <laughs> niggas in jail. Right. And like, we're, hey, we're <laughs> making money hand over fist. Anything named farm, you know it has yeah, some, oh, some, man. some black work unpaid. Okay, these look like some little uh, flesh lights. Raspberry bow tie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, you know what I'm like saying. Shark week. I fuck a raspberry bow tie. You know what I'm saying? Like in a in a in a jam. Ooh, jam. Ooh, jam. <laughs> in a jam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but what's your favorite? What's your favorite off the beaten path cookie? Mm. Like not a chocolate chip, not oh, a macadamia. First of like all, let me let me tell you something about Lorna Dunes. Come on, Lorna. Oh man, what you hey. know about Miss Dunes? Oh Dune? jam, <laughs> nigga. Lorna Dunes, dog. Lorna Dunes tastes like Lorna Dunes. Lorna Dunes is not even a cookie. First of all, shout out to Lorna Dunes being a biscuit. It's a shortbread biscuit. It's a shortbread biscuit. It is. You know what I'm saying? It get it get cookie respect because you know what I'm saying. You know. Lorna Dune is, is like a power forward that can play all and five positions. you can't positions. say just the first name. Like, you got to say Lorna Dune. Like, I'm going to tell you, Lorna Dune, whole Lorna Dune is, is the LeBron. Okay. Okay. CP is really on to something, yeah. He is really on to something because these biscuits or shortbread cakes are really, really, really off the chain. Of of the of the cookie hybrid biscuit. Now I'm gonna tell you who the Giannis is. The Chessman. Uh-oh. The ch- fucking chess nigga. You a real nigga. No. The Chessman come. <laughs> the Chessman come through up, square, though. rigid. You right. know what I'm saying? Banana pudding. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Oh mm-hmm. man. Oh, yeah. but you know who the Ja Morant. <laughs> Of them young light skin cookies, who, who, who? that that Biscoff, that Lotus, oh, the airplane man. cookie. Oh man! Say man, talk about it. Talk say, about it. Say that you is one of eat. the best things hey. they have ever baked. I'm gonna tell you, they get him to the whole plane. Yes, that first ain't just, class, that ain't no first class. Last class, they get him to the whole plane. Crew. Yeah, because without them, it'd be a lot That's of bullshit. You know plane. how many? It was, it was supposed to be six flights on 911. Two of them had Biscoffs. Everybody uh, calmed man, the fuck man, down. Like, you know what? Yeah. I was finna wreck this bitch. Yeah, you know what? Lucky you gave me them extra cookies. And they had a cool ass black stewardess who was like, "Hey, y'all want some extra hey, Biscoffs?" They were like, "You know what? Put 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 the knives away." So you know, you've heard of peanut butter. You've heard of almond butter. Mm-hmm. Biscoff, Biscoff has makes a butter. Some shit called cookie, cookie butter, butter. Yeah. and you can get it in smooth yeah. and in crunchy. Yeah. Nah, I ain't gonna lie to you. People think that that they coming for peanut butter with this, but they mm-hmm. not. They mm-hmm. coming for coochie with this. Yes. you know what I'm saying? Like, yes. Oh yeah, that yeah, is yeah. meant to be they eaten off to, of they, another they, adult. They trying to, that they trying is what to, that is for. Listen it's here, you understand cookie, me? But it mean coochie. Yeah, 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 that is for yeah, inside yeah, of butt yeah. cheek. That goes right with me. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you right now. You know what I'm saying? If Sherman Clunk was to get his hands on some shit like this, say, oh man, well yeah, yeah. 
Buddy, he be on six hundred pound life. Yeah, <laughs> anybody watching this, program, Buddy Love would be fat. Buddy, <laughs> any adult area that you need to put in your mouth that you might feel is not that tasty, mm-hmm. you rub a dollop or maybe a dab of that cookie butter across it, and I and see won't it yeah. become a delicacy? Won't the the kids in the family who got a uh, peanut butter or a peanut <laughs> allergy, this is an excellent. Yes, um, I love how C C P C P tried to move away from. <laughs> CP is really trying to move away from the conversation. <laughs> but he keep on talking about it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my um, like uh you know way like, better than some butter. Yeah, yeah. Some butter tastes like you you can't have regular shit. I don't know. Yeah, no, that's for That's the one they make out of sunflower seeds. Some for butter. the kids that are allergic to peanuts and shit, they yep. make the sun butter. It tastes like you can't have peanut butter. For real? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, all right, y'all. Usually, I'm, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Um, usually, I don't know the topic that we talk about, right? Because, um... Weed. Well, no, not even, <laughs> not even just <laughs> weed, but because I like for Maya to kind of surprise me so that I can give a natural... Response, you know what I'm saying? My audience wants me to be as honest. Is that made out of Legos on your shirt? Yeah, and then look, I got the I got, I got or, the, uh, and then you got the Air Max to go. Oh, come on, you old successful ass nigga. So crazy. That's hard. Yeah. yeah. Oh man. And see, like, see, CP is is the right amount of Negro nerd to pull off a shirt <laughs> like that, bro. Like, cause he. Yeah. That's hard. Anyway, um. But this week, man, so much crazy shit has happened that I hit up Maya like, hey, listen, I know you usually surprise me, but I want to talk about these e-fucking immediately. Okay. And uh, I'm going to just give you all two topics to our topic, and we're we going to just go right into them. Um, and I want you to lead us in with the facts. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to tell you what I've heard. Mm-hmm. Number one, um, they found a, a, a forest 639 feet down in the ground. Uh, a what? forest. In a sinkhole. Wait. In a sinkhole. In a sinkhole. First of all. That has been untouched, my nigga, for they don't even know how long. Bro, I don't know what kind they- As long as humans been on this earth, I feel as though we still haven't uncovered a lot of things that there is to be seen, to be honest. Like, even in the ocean, the thing could be said, because we only could go so far as human beings. So who the hell... Who the hell could say what's really under the ocean? Something dangerous and, oh my goodness, just the thought about it. So many things we haven't seen as a human race. They just discovered it. Just discovered it. So how is it a sinkhole then? Why is it not a valley? It's three caves. Because of how it just... It just drops off. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And then, then of course, the other one, this is the one we're going to talk about first, but then the other one... Is uh the all the new UFO talks that, that they're talking about now? Everybody's releasing all this UFO right, information, like, out of and so we about to get the facts on that and really get into what the fuck going on. But Let's first, get into it. hell yeah! So, yeah. okay, China, mm-hmm. a giant sinkhole. There's a hidden forest with ancient trees growing at its floor. Now, first of all, let's talk about this. What they teach us is that look at this shit. Look, 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 look. Wow. Damn. Is that an artist rendering or is no, that the real photo? Picture. That's a picture. Nigga. So it's a cavern. Yeah. With trees that are how tall on the inside? They say this one's 130 feet, I believe. God wow. Dang. So you fall through a hole, 430 feet down, you hit the top of a tree. Hey, mm-hmm. but 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 guess <laughs> but guess what though? Remember that show Land Before Time used to come right. on. Um, and that's exactly what happened. And they to that fell family. down into that family, and and it was down there with ancient. You know, like dinosaurs and all kind of stuff that they was running from because it was Middle Earth. That show. Wait, wait, what's the word? Hollow Prime Earth. evil? Is that the right word? Primordial or primeval? I believe it's prime evil. Because if it's medieval, then it's primeval? Prime nah, but before. I want to say like the prime is indicative of like pre Because it was a video game that you had to go fight. It was like it was Tekken, dinosaurs. but you had like dinosaurs yeah, and shit. It was called prime evil. Oh, oh, that game? Yeah. 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 Yep, I do remember that. But yeah, like this is like you know this this anybody who knows me and knows one of my top five conspiracies is hollow earth theory. So you believe there's a hollow earth? I mean, look at this shit. Think about this: we bury people six feet deep, and you know six feet deep, and they like, oh, you know that's you know any lower than that, it's all kind of da da da. This is a hundred and I mean, this is six hundred and thirty nine feet 
low, and then those roots mm. have to go low too. Right, because that's what, that was going to be my next point. Because how tree. is a tree grounded? Right, if it ain't in the ground. Now, and you need it's sunlight to grow and everything. Right, but I'm saying like so those they, roots have to be deep. There's a water deep. source down there. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. well you know water, water it, it, it's a hole, so water gonna get down there. But the question is like, what 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 can't get out of there? So what type of animals live in them Nigga, trees? Them, them mosquitoes have to be <laughs> the most biggest. Size, yeah. nigga, like, you wake up and it's a mosquito sucking your dick. You're like, ah! I, you know I guarantee what I'm saying? you this. Whatever ecosystem down there is so unspoiled that everything yeah. is in its final form. Like, like we yeah. bullshitting talking about bat sized mosquitoes, but they probably got like dog sized rats and yeah. and and horse sized cats. Look at it. Look, look at it from the overview. Changing. So who was just on the drone one day and was like, is it me or is the ground dipping in right there? Right. But look at this shit. It was a white bird. This is in China. Right. So how the fuck they they ain't looked at China? It's a lot of shit behind that great wall, bro. Oh, for real? Yeah, they built that great wall to keep uh, dragons out or... Uh, Mongols. Avengers, you know what I'm saying? The, the white wall. What? Or is that true? They is that true? Like, they, they, that they, is they, true. they claim it was to keep the Mongols out. But if you if, if ancient Asian history suggests... That the Mongols were the Hun. My boy say, my boy say dragons at first. Wow, even this Rocky. Those were the original Asians, the original Chinese. So why would they build a wall to keep their ancestors out? But so wait a minute. So like, I I never been to China and I never knew the history. And so forgive me, everybody out there. But are you mean to tell me that that wall separates? The wilderness from that wall separates China from everything that ain't China. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's it, the it, first it, Trump wall. Yeah, like that. That that's where Trump got the the, the motivation, the idea mm-hmm. from, because there is a wall that goes around the country of China, and that hole is like hundred feet tall everywhere, mm-hmm. and like a quarter of a mile wide. I mean, a, a couple hundred feet wide. So like you can't penetrate through the wall nowhere. So Damn. just to clarify. The Huns and the Mongols all came from the steppe region, which is a giant plains region in Russia. And those people developed horses before everyone else. Yep. So they were yeah. warriors and they were ruthless hunters. The Huns came through and damn near destroyed Rome. Yeah. And the Mongols came through and damn near destroyed everybody. So the Mongols, so the Huns was like Attila. And the, the, the Mongols were the Khans, Kublai Khan, Genghis Khan. This, this is all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a game called Ghost of Tsushima. Come on. Mm. Do you play? My daughter is into it. Man, look, and you fight the Mongols, and you own China, and they come in and kill your parents, and you got to build up, and you got to fight all these wars, and you lead all these battles to save these villages because they kind of, they're trying to take China. It's like an ancient game. It takes place, like, you know, a while back. But, nigga, that shit is cold. It's one of my favorite games. And, damn, I didn't know There's that. There's a lot we don't know about China because it's one of the first civilizations outside of Africa. And it's one of the oldest living people. As a, as a matter of fact, I teach this a lot. Down syndrome clinically is known as mongoloidism. That mm. is the clinical uh, uh, original genetic code for Asian people. Mongol. My boy knows so much facts. I, I really got to Google this. I, I didn't know I was going to do some science today, man. He's, going ba- he's sending me back to school with all this information. Mongoloids. So to this day, this is why anybody with Down syndrome looks kind of Asian. They have Asian phenotypes. No matter what race you are, all people with Down syndrome look alike. Well, all right. But that's, that's what Black Ryan saying. said. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Anybody get them up on seven after weird, me? Just a, little, just a little weird conspiracy like, bro. I don't want no they, they, smoke. They got us all mixing in. And another, me and celebrities talking about this the other day, bro. Like, real talk, when they going to go ahead and come out and admit that everybody on this planet ain't the same species as humans? Oh, we we did we not talk about that? Well, okay, so we talked about the ancient species of humans, which were the Neanderthals and the Denisovans. Cro Magnon, so, Java Man. Yeah, so there are Europeans are mixed with uh, Neanderthals, and Asians are mixed with Denisovans. But if we were were not the same species, we wouldn't be able to interbreed. Only because you are this kind of a nerd do I feel the need to correct you, and I've learned that it's Neanderthal, not Thal. Okay. But but beyond that. To that point, I... Come on, bro. You didn't have to do my life that now. Come on. CP, CP, you need to say something about that, man. You are a guest. You don't have to correct people like that. 
I say, well, then how can you explain hey man, the existence don't, don't, of a don't light? Don't come in here, nigga. <laughs> nigga, nigga I had no Thank you, CP. He's a real guy. He's a, he's a real stand-up guy to do that. Because I wasn't going to allow that, man. Come on, bro. Neanderthal <laughs> sound sweet as fuck. Uh, Neanderthal uh, sound like a medicine. Yeah, but Neanderthal sound like exactly what you describing. This nigga who is from Neander, and he is tall. tall. Oh, they they be tall as fuck? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seven, six foot. What? Yeah. yeah. They were stocky. As fuck. Oh, everybody, tall and stocky. Tall like and burly. stocky. Everybody looked like the Dumb Kong Su. Everybody was strong. They had the big like villages. They were towing logs every day. Those niggas Killing big, woolly big. mammoths with a club. Chasing wolves. Those niggas were big. Damn. And we, we ain't talking about them. no regular wolf. We talking about stepping Go to that one right there. In the, one? Down, down, down. We're sort of next, next to like a modern man. This one here? Mm-mm. Yeah, oh, they, this one. and they down. say they say it's based off the Brow right Ridge. There. Like wow. some people have that extra bony brow ridge, mm -hmm. so that it, it shows that they have a diminished frontal lobe, which is which explains why some people are like hella aggro for no reason at all, like just mean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They they like they're 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 based the bloodline. They're they're debased. Oh to wow! For my guys that watch Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Super, this female right here and my females too. I don't want to exclude you. This female right here looks like Goku and the Super Saiyan 3 form. If you look at the eyebrow right here, you can see the muscle area like Goku. I I, I need to have a side-by-side. -side. Um, that is really, really interesting. Um, I am going to make a... Make a I might make a post about it. That's really interesting. Our lowest vibrational level as humans. Damn. I don't know. What I've learned, I'm not going to talk down to any human species. What I heard about them is that they just could not communicate with each other as effectively as Homo sapiens sapiens could communicate with each other. Mm -hmm. So they're Homo sapiens Neanderthalus. Neanderthalus, sorry. Um, but they were. Come on, my love. You have to stand your ground. You cannot let someone correct you like that. We, I, I get a bite the bullet on that one. Let me Google it. Hey Google, how to pronounce Neanderthal? That's pronounced hey. How to pronounce Neander Neanderthal? That's pronounced Neanderthal. Oh. He's right. Wow. That's um okay. He he wins. He, he wins that one. Not able to communicate as well, but they still had art and stuff like that. So you see the the second row, third picture on the right, the dark picture of the woman. I'm assuming that is. This one. Right. Mm -hmm. So now look right in between the eyebrows. You see how the forehead is concave. Yeah, they got this thing. Right. It's a, so that that shows a diminished frontal lobe and the lack of a pineal gland. So they didn't have the third eye. Mm. So without the third eye, without a frontal cortex, you lack reasoning, you lack effective communication, you lack... So anybody who looks like that, dumb as fuck. Right. <laughs> no, <laughs> you cannot tell by looking at someone if they're dumb as fuck. Yes, you can, Mike. No. You walk down the street, you be like, look at that hey, stupid ass looking. You can, out. though. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got a stupid looking <laughs> ass face. It's possible. Right. Like, have you ever had somebody you say something absolutely to you? Absolutely. Well, no, 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 I'm, no, 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 I'm not No, because my thinks she's a nice person. Let me break it down for you. <laughs> you ever have somebody say something and it's remarkably intelligent for them? And you be like, damn, I, that is... Deep coming from you. That is smart coming from you. So, but people say that about. They assume that women are dumber or attractive people are dumber just because of how no. they look. You can't He's tell. He's talking about a diminished. I'm talking about diminished, I'm talking diminished intelligence, yeah, not from superior this, intelligence. From this, I don't know because there are a lot of people walking around right now that have this thing. I wouldn't assume Man, they're stupid. That's where the whole you a knuckle dragger shit come from. Let's go like, see how many of them are at Harvard. Like, excuse me, anybody here got a diminished frontal lobe? Yeah, see who we got the caved in forehead yeah, walking around no, Ivy League. I will put that up for a hypothesis. We can test that out. Look but at how that... many people work in intellectual positions versus how many people work yeah. in menial or manual labor positions and look at the way they forehead is shaped. Mm. Okay. 
Okay. Big four. Head big bubbly work head people working big bubbly head ass jobs. Sprint call center. Damn, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I yeah, didn't got it. I didn't got served at the drive-through somewhere in like Tennessee by the one that's right below where, where your cursor is at. With the wrong turn to here. Right there, no, no, right below, right there. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that is a, hey, honey, welcome to Walgreens. I can help you. I don't know what you're talking about. What's that again you say? A loofah. You said you want an all-star special, and what kind of waffle you want? <laughs> so oh, so you don't think those people just didn't have a bad education growing up? Absolutely not. No? K through 12 education is pretty much... Across the board, the same in the United States of America. Bullshit. Same bullshit. No, pretty much. Pretty much. You live in Texas, nigga. It's probably the same across Texas. No, by and large, across the Mm. United States, primary education is pretty much the same. It's not until you go into specificities that you get to determine, like, which school is high-functioning and which isn't. This nigga, word's too big. I need to sit over there. I'm telling you. (laughs) Hey, for he for you killing me on camera right there. Cut, blur him out. (laughs) Okay, think about it like this. Think about it like this. All elementary schools have uh, in their in that same region a STEM school now. So you have regular elementary school, and then you have the talent to the gifted, which is what they used to call us when we were kids. Mm -hmm. It's now called STEM because you can't tell the regular kids that they are untalented or ungifted simply because they aren't highly functioning Mm, scholastically. But then you say, well, no, you really have an interest in science, technology, engineering, and math. Is that Morgan Freeman? Hell yeah, it is. At the bottom That's right the there? That's the head he right got there. to the left. Mm-mm. Don, you do it, don't you? Right here? Mm-hmm. Right there. He got the Morgan. Mm. Morgan Freeman. Oh, my goodness. I do kind of look like him, you know. Wow. That's crazy. Well, have you seen that conspiracy theory that Morgan Freeman is like 300 years old? Mm-mm. Yeah. Because I saw y'all did one about uh, uh, Pharrell and... Uh... Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. They say that Morgan Freeman is also a Jimi Hendrix, and he just keeps changing his... Ooh, bullshit. Nigga, pull that up. Pull that up. Because I've never seen Morgan with a guitar in front of him, but that no, might man. be why. Look up, his, look up, up. his Morgan Freeman and Jimi Hendrix. Watch this shit, y'all. This is going to fuck y'all up. Is Morgan Freeman Jimi Hendrix? That's probably a fan made, made up fiction. Cause I don't believe that. And yeah, think about it though. It's a hell of a tax evasion. But so I, I, we watching this movie called Warcraft, right? Mm-hmm. And we, you know, you look at like movies like um, uh, Lord look, of the man, Rings. Came up too. Hold on, they got that same nose. Look at the look at the left eye. Them two wrinkles mm-hmm. right by the eye. Hold on. Damn. Damn okay. Mm. And Morgan Teeth do look like he did cocaine in the 70s. Twice, oh, man. at least. At least twice. Wait, I don't see them three lines on Jimmy forehead, though. He's too he young. He got older, so scroll yeah. up, scroll up. It says false, but... Yeah, man, of false. course it's going to say false. Of course, yeah. They, why, would, why would they convince and tell the truth? something to think about. Who was born first? Did Morgan Freeman only come out in the 70s? Let's look at Morgan Freeman. Morgan look at when he started his career. Because he did start in the electric company as a grown-ass man. He don't even have no baby pictures. As a baby at 10, he had a great bird. He did. Hey. I know it's a, it's a part of the joke and everything, but I, I do believe that there is a baby picture of Morgan Freeman floating around. Let's be real now. It's funny and all, but let's be real here. Yeah. It's funny, but, you know... Morgan Freeman was on the electric company? He was, which was like Sesame Street. Right? Yeah. My boy, um, Will Jackson Harper. Yeah. From, um, Love Life. He was on the electric company, too. No shit. Real. Yeah. Yeah, so, 1964, it says that was his first movie called The Pawn Broker. He said he was a man on the street, uncredited, uncredited. And then, 69 is when it says he gets his first credit. Look at when the electric company started. Because he was easy reader on the electric company. Right electric there. Electric company, 71 to 77. See? Mark, easy, easy reader. reader. That yeah. was 71. Jimmy Hendrix died in 71. Hold on. <laughs> but what about this New York uh, television theater? Wow. That's 69. Yeah, but see, all that shit is uncredited. He's just a nigga talking. No, up until right here, right here. Afro. Cuz. Like, what type of character names? Are yeah, right. He was just in the background. It wasn't until he became... Easy writer. That he got a goddamn character name. 
that he was actually a person. I don't know. I'm gonna have to see. I'm gonna have to see this video, the New York Television Theater video. That says one episode. What I really appreciate about Maya, he isn't. She isn't really agreeing everything off the rip. She wants to fact check it and uh, get the information before before she actually decide. Yeah, or I agree with you or something. I like that about her. So even still, which means he might have had one line. Hey yo. Uh, Possibly. Now go a back line to, is a line. Now go back yeah. to the go go back to the. Um, but then again, back the in the day, they did used to give artists and entertainers little cameo roles in movies and TV shows, <laughs> and that's back on. when Jimmy was hot. Hold on. So so one eye on Jimmy is more squinted. His left eye is more squinted. Is that the same for Morgan Freeman? He's got more squinted left eye. That's because that's something. I think that's Morgan the same is also for all Morgan. Morgan, cool. Morgan also his uh, his hand fell off. His hand fell off. Fell off of what? His body, my nigga. How you? How your hand fall off? I mean, you know, I have Maya here. Like necrosis. Maya Maya is the quickest check back checker. Watch this, bro. She got baby hair. Oh, so he's wearing a glove because? Okay, got it. He got necrosis, like, 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 like when Kadeem Hardison was the ghoul in in Vampire in Brooklyn. Gangrene. Somebody dabbed Morgan up, and he was like, Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh, Come on, man! Don't do that, man. You did. They used to call him Crazy Joe. Now they're calling Batman. Hell no, Morgan. He says that he has nerve damage on his left hand, so it's paralyzed, and he has to wear a glove to ensure it doesn't pull. So now we got to find out if anyone has seen him without the glove. He got okay, the Bob Dole hand. I'm not going to lie. This is the first time I've actually heard about the situation, and even know that. After all these deaths, he's been in the movie. Well, he hasn't really been, like, in in an... Although he's been in an action movie, he hasn't been doing any action. He's been speaking and doing, like, president roles and stuff like that as of late. And even being a narrator, which he's good at. But we haven't really been seeing his body like that. So that could be true, you know? I didn't even know that. Wow. That's something. I'm sorry. Let me let me let me say that his hand didn't fall movie off. Scary movie. Said, Grab my take, strong take hand. My <laughs> <laughs> Grab my strong oh, hand. Man, Morgan, I apologize, man. I, st- I still want to work. Hey, they made me say that. I, didn't, I love the Lord. What I if in order to work, Morgan got to touch you with the hand? He take the glove off and that whole like all bony and skeletal and shit. That's like the ghoul finger. What would you do? I'd be like, ah, ah, ah! He'd be mm-hmm. like, you, you think I can feel that? Mm-hmm. You think I can feel those bites? Death, like, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Probably, I don't want no smoke. Mm-mm, Morgan, I don't want none, no action. Mm-hmm. If we're going to have that, that's that Bruce Lee hand on. Why Morgan waits so late? Why why he waits so late to get them new teeth? I hate when old black people get new teeth, like, into a sunken face. It don't match. Wife Your said. jaw all sunk in and shit. Now you got these big ass, nice teeth. heavy duty biting ass. Ooh, teeth. You got new teeth and old face. Yeah, uh-huh. like get some, get some jaw to go with it. Old it, new it, ass. It's like a, it's like BBL when you don't get the legs and the hips to go with <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, I said you gotta get, gotta get the combo meal. You gotta get the <laughs> combo. You gotta get the leg, the thigh, <laughs> and the ass. Not just go yeah. get the sandwich. Like yeah, no, yeah. the sandwich is only ten bands. I'm gonna mm-hmm. go get that. No, you gotta get the meal. Can't get just, the hips. Can't get the, just get the back the of the thigh. You need the BB. And the, and the L. It's a package. Back, so booted, thing. legs. Here's the thing. In the middle of these two conspiracies, because here's what I also want to talk about. I don't mm-hmm. want to get back too far from the, the fact that sinkhole. that the Chinese hole sinkhole. Yeah. is 639 feet deep. 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 Now, the what's that, what else is that deep? deep? Exactly. What else is that what's deep What's the like? lowest recorded elevation Hold point? On. My We've been taught that this low damn near should be like... So hot, right? So Getting to the closer to the core, to the, closer, the mantle, the Earth's crust, yeah. and shit, volcano and shit. And volcano. that's not true. Not only that, I've heard that they also have freeways where you can get from one side of the Earth to the other side I of the Earth. I didn't hear about the super quick freeway. As fuck underneath the ground. Okay, CP's guest is really, really speaking too much now. Let CP talk and get his point before you say something, please. No, it's all kind of 
underground I bunker. Heard, I, heard I, there's I don't know. Free, I, don't I heard know. there's a freeway that goes true. across the Atlantic Ocean. Mm. I do not that know. That government yeah. vehicles travel. Yeah, good for the. It's like a, like a super super tunnel, like like how the what's the tunnel on the, the east coast thing. that goes under the the river under the lake. They got a Washington fucking tunnel, tunnel underneath the ocean. I heard. Uh, I heard that. <clears throat> Chesapeake Bay Bridge tunnel is that the one? Goes right under the water. Goes right under the water. Jim. That's one of the first prototypes. They right, tried it it's one in it's one in Detroit that goes underneath to go to Canada. Mm-hmm. Just like the Lincoln yeah. Tunnel in New York goes right under the water. Now, so when did they, they got now that. did they build the they tunnel and then pull the water in? Or did they stop all the water? Like, how the hell did they build something under the water? Well, the channel that goes from England to France. Mm-hmm. So there's a tunnel under there. That was quite a doing, though. That's on the River Thames. That's the catacombs. But how are they building that shit, though? So right. They, and the catacombs like, is not the a tunnel. At? They yeah. built a town on top of another town. Yeah, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see about this Atlantic uh, Ocean Highway because I'm like, I don't know if they can do that. Yeah. Because my thing is, bro, the, the human ear is pop when you get about 20 feet below elevation. Mm -hmm. That's your bubble. So how you get 600 and something feet and then it's still temperate down there? Right. I don't know how factual this guy is saying things. I don't know how factual it is. But I, I could give him credit, though. He seems... Logi knowledgeable in certain areas, I could give him that. But that lets you know that it's more to this Middle Earth shit than what niggas want to say. There's so lying. much shit that could be up under it. So if that's 639 feet down to the root, then the root yeah, go down. No high it's a bird down there so goddamn big. Why? You ain't fly. She's easy. You remember that? You remember that last King Kong movie they made with Jack Black in it? Remember when they yeah. Remember when King Kong was fighting like the big ass Fighting. centipedes mm -hmm. and shit like? I bet you some some of that shit off in there. I mean, we should know soon, right? When should they explore it? I expect to see a they fucking. They won't need to explore it. That shit been untouched all this time. Leave I mean, it the fuck I mean, alone. Nah, what you mean? But they want to explore Mars. Nigga, send a rover down that bitch and and show us. Now some you know shit. what? I believe you. I, I'm with you on that. Why are we exploring Ooh, outer Earth yeah. things until we know as much as we can oh, about man. Earth? That looked like somebody towed a piece out, towed the top off a mountain, G. Could have been. Was it a volcano? That could that be an inactive that, volcano, that which means, oh. which is, which explains why it's so lush and fertile down there. Cause all that old leftover volcanic. <laughs> I don't know this dude, but he's giving me. The type of person that knows it all in a negative way. He's giving me that vibe. I don't know if you guys know that or feel it. Let me know. Is it just me? It's 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 all yeah. shit. Uh -huh. So it says it's three caves put together. It's the size of 2,000 Olympic swimming pools. Damn. That, that, that's not a good unit. That ain't no. That ain't nothing. Because we don't know how, yeah. how long ago. Yeah. Give, give me, me how give many me miles across fields. is yeah. that damn hole? Mm. Goddamn swimming pool. Shit. Yeah. Swimming pool. It's, it's 82,000 jacuzzis. Like, don't right. give me no Nobody goddamn unit of measurement like that. Yeah. It says well, 5 million square meters. Damn. Yeah, That's not enough. I Give me some more shit. Enough. No, square meters is a lot. Because square, a square, square meters is three inches longer than a yard. We Nigga, know a yard is, is the three shit feet. as big as Lexington, Kentucky or not? Yeah. You said how many meters? Five million square Five meters? Five million square meters. That's 15 million feet oh, deep. Man. Oh, you did. That whole guy. You see, what, you see what I'm talking about? Oh, my goodness. At the cubic is fifteen no, million this cubic is, this feet. Is, this is this is the width of it. No meters. She said that's the volume. So that's fifteen million cubic feet. Some, some, okay, so Lexington, Lexington, Kentucky is two hundred eighty-five miles squared. Mm -hmm. So I think Lexington, Kentucky might be bigger than the sinkhole. Yeah, that, that's fucking you up, honey. But don't hold me that. Mm -hmm. I just did that math in my head right there. Lexington, might, Kentucky. Might want to write that down next time. <sighs> So let's just say L.A. can fit off in that hole, bro. I don't think L.A. can fit in that hole. I don't think L.A. can hole. fit in there. That's why I said like a small city. Oh, Oklahoma? I said a... What are you talking about? Houston or something? We talking about a hole the size of a town. We're, we're talking, talking about, like, we're talking about like, put it like this. Uh, it's kind of heart-shaped. Uh, uh, Southfield, Michigan. 
What size? What, what shape is that? Is that an oblong heart? Is that a boot? Mm-hmm. That's a bike, my nigga. Too far. That, look, that look like a bike. Man, that, that ain't no volcano. Only reason I, th- I don't think it's a volcano because of the 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 size. The mouth so Yeah, that, like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like it, it doesn't it don't really make sense for Supposed it to be a volcano. Like, Spoop. No, all volcanoes don't have that Vesuvian shape. Though. Right, but I'm saying, but like, look at this one though. This yeah, is almost Vesuvian not even. Right there, yeah, 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 yeah. I fucked yeah, the up with yeah, that yeah. Vesuvian. Yeah, that was, that was, yeah, yeah, that was a good one. That, that was a good one. That word came with that hat. It's like, yeah. look inside the hat for the word of the day. Three word right there. Word Vesuvian. But no, nah, yeah, you know what? This is word. fucking me up. Like when I found out that the oceans meet and the colors are different for each ocean. What? Yeah, mm-hmm. off the, off the southern like tip, the oceans and seas. off the southern tip of South America, all three oceans converge. The Pacific, the Atlantic, and the Indian Oceans all converge on each other, and each water is a different shade of blue. Can we see this? Uh, yeah. Run for the land, guy. Uh, Discovery Science Channel. I just want to. Uh, I just want to add that um, this is a limestone sinkhole, so water seeps in. It wasn't from a volcano. It's porous. Mm-hmm. So the water don't find its way down there. The water just seep through the ground. A whole damn okay, hole so made out of sponge. Go. So the hole could have been but, getting but, deeper over but, time because it's limestone. But look, the picture that they showed us before, I've seen this, but I didn't see three of them. Though. No, they got they got one with three different waters come together, G. Like that. Yeah, I've seen that. They're right there. It's right yeah, off the tip. Oxidation. Right off the tip they of. Don't mix. Is that Peru? I want to say like is the warm. southernmost country in in South America. Is it Peru? Yeah, is it Peru or is it Argentina? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. The one is like oxygen and, and the somebody in the comments know what the southernmost country. I want to say is it's Peru. Argentina. Somebody in the comments said it's Argentina. It's Argentina. Wow. Two oceans meet but don't mix. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Debunked. Somebody said it's not true. No, it's hella true. And the reason why is because of the temperature and the salinity of each water. Salinity. How much? Okay, bro. <laughs> sometimes you gotta really take take the L. Sometimes you don't have to sound like you're right all the time. You're really, really giving off like you know it all. Like. Let me know in the chat if I'm tripping. Let me know. Salt is in there. I got it, baby. Where, where would they all meet? Because the Pacific meets the Atlantic under Argentina and Chile, and then the Atlantic meets the Indian under South Africa. So where it's would they It's called all meet? the, uh, uh, is it the Greater Antilles? Let me check that out. <laughs> <clears throat> is it the Arctic Ocean, not the Indian? It might be the Arctic Ocean. That would make it. Sitting sit between, sit between Black Ryan and Maya is like, uh, <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like with Jeopardy Ooh. and uh, and Wheel of Fortune on at the same time, and both hosts is like, you just like, you spinning the wheel and uh, asking the question. Go ahead, my bad. Go ahead. Barack Obama just did a, a documentary series on Netflix where he's talking about national parks, and there's this national park where that entire tip of South America is basically protected wildlife space. And they did an overshot of it. And it's because the Andes Mountains runs down off into that motherfucker. And it's the the the, the left peninsula of South America. What? There's an isthmus that runs right in between them. Okay, let me pull, bring this up just so that y'all Put it up. Yeah, it's Argentina. And then off to the left. You have to give it up to Mayo for not really... Initially, believing everything he is saying because what she is doing, she is really, really testing his knowledge right now. She wants to look it up. And whether right or wrong, we will figure that out very, very soon. Or somebody in the comments is going to say he is talking calf or something. We are going to know. Left the western coast of Argentina, there is all of these little islands and, and land formations and shit, and right there... Oh, yeah, yeah, look, because Pacific, the Pacific Atlantic, 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 and, and Southern. the Southern Ocean, or the, or the Arctic Ocean, those all converge right at that cape. Right mm. Yeah, because it's. I'm looking at something that says three oceans meet this at... This nigga got up like a newscaster. Right <laughs> As you see here... Because it, it, it kind of bends down Bruh. and it looks 
looks a little bit so the Pacific comes right up to there. The precipitation will right come there. this way. And, and right on the tip of He's turning this podcast into a history lesson, bro. That whole thing is a protected little space. Mm. And it's three different oceans. Three different oceans all come up on the motherfucker. It was it, like it happens nowhere else in the world. Okay. This one's saying that the the three oceans meet at Kanya Kumari, somewhere in India. But that doesn't make any sense. That this makes more sense, or something up here. Somewhere up there, but yeah. And that Africa map is, is grossly inaccurate. Yeah, it's it very is. old. It yeah. is. It's too because much every Canada map we've looked at, there. they always make Greenland look like it's the same size, continentally speaking, as like Canada or our, yeah. like Greenland is it's like as hell. you can feel. But you gotta give it to Black Swan because he's really, really talking. He's make. That's one thing I could give it give it to him. Although he's he's giving a lot of information, whether right or wrong, he he is talking in the in the podcast because ain't nothing um worse than having a guest that is really really quiet and you asking all the questions. So you must give it to him. He he is interactive. That's one thing about a podcast and persons listening in is because whether right or wrong. You're going to have interaction whether in the comments or or either platform. So I really appreciate that about it. Like five Greenlands inside of Australia. Yeah. When I yeah, like when I found out that Africa is yeah. wider across than Russia. Yeah, Africa's huge. Russia is only like five point seven something kilometers across and Africa is like six point eight nine. It's like it's is Distinctly greater. Yeah, this still ain't accurate right here. This is not showing that. Let me. You can fit every other continent inside of Africa and still have room to drive around. <laughs> like, why would you drive around on, on the shit that you put in? There? Yeah, you I'm, just did saying, that. I'm just saying, like, if each one of them was in its own <laughs> box. Yeah, yeah, I ain't got nowhere if, to drive. If, Argentina if, if, here. If, if you built a great wall around each one of them motherfuckers, gotcha. you would still have free space. Somebody said Africa is tiny compared to America. Wow. Mm. Who said that? Well, you know the thing about books, they always in publication. You can go mm-hmm. read anytime you get ready. It will give you clarity. Yeah, that that map right there is the most accurate. Mm. But even it's not. Mm. It's because Earth is a is a circle. Well, it's a ball, so it's things cool. look stretched when you try to make an image out of anything like ball shape. Anytime you try to put anything square round on a square plane mm-hmm. you got to stretch the corners I think this is the, probably and earth is about. not like this perfect basketball shape like nothing in water nothing in in, in in the world that's liquid takes that shape everything takes a teardrop shape based off the gravitational pull on the planet so that means earth itself would have to be teardrop shaped no nah, but the but the earth but it's continuously moving so it's like if somebody like, you know how you, like, spin some water around so mm-hmm. fast that it stay in the same spot? Mm-hmm. It's almost like before that drop can drip, this drop got to come with this drop. Is right. It? You Centrifugal know what I'm saying? force. Yeah. And so I think that that's Somebody what kind of... spinning the basketball. That's what keeps it spherical. Now, the fact that we are the water planet in our solar system, it, it, I think that it gives us a little bit... We have a lot more problems. Hold on. You were so planet. deep on that. What? Wasn't nobody feeling you on that. You was like, okay, so this planet is a water-based planet. So that means all human beings are water-based entities because right. we're it, on the water planet. We're, we're two-thirds why, water. That, that's that's why we thrive here. Don't forget that we even breathe water. Right. Like, people think that people think that we breathe air, but air is part water, yeah. which means yeah. that we're just basically vapor. Like we are, we're able to breathe the vapors instead of. CP is on one right now. He is on it. The actual water, solid state water, right. would drown us. But water in its in its most finite space, mm-hmm. which is gas, is, is what we need to breathe. Mm-hmm. But the point that that everybody else missed is if you go to any other planet, planet, whatever their elemental force is, that's what those people would be made out of. Mm-hmm. So if you were to go to like a Venus, there would be a bunch of silver surfer looking motherfuckers. Right, but there, but also like looking motherfuckers is. Because that's how we move around. Like their shit could literally be liquid, um, like 
like fucking, you know, just forms that could take like shape of you. Like a pool of water, right? Yeah, it don't could, have to be human stand or up. A fucking water that, or like some like some mercury that could stand up Terminated and turn you. into right. a form and talk mm. to you. You know what I'm saying? But so, because I think that you know we've been taught through me. CP is on some ter- Terminator ish right now. To like understand and almost worship the elements in their own life form, in their raw and with them having a people, right? Like, right. so like Captain Planet, all them kids had an element, element that brought together the planet, right? Mm. And it seems like we're the only planet that has all the elements that that pulls up Captain Planet, nigga. They basically said it; these elements make Let a planet. Our you know what I'm saying? Combined. But see, like, um, if you look at like another planet, bro, like it might even be another whole set of elements that that like neon bromine right and then like, like all, all these niggas yeah. made out all these on earth would be toxic gases mm-hmm. there are perfectly in balance for what they need there but here's another thing i feel like the only reason why intelligent life forms on other planets don't communicate with us is the same way we don't communicate with ants like nigga do we do they even understand us? Are we wasting our time that's communicating? A, that's a, but see, that, what that language in, do they speak? That in itself, though, is is that human inferiority complex that we automatically have to be less intelligent than whatever intelligence is out there. Like maybe they haven't made contact with us because they don't have enough gas money to get here and land and get back, or 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 power. I don't or, know. I think you know it's the fact saying? that we shoot uh, first and ask questions later. Or it's the fact that maybe we've been actually exploring that shit and nobody knows it. Like, dog, why, why, why would we not? Why would they show us Star Trek? I feel like they want to tell us the truth, but they leave it up to your interpretation. Because we got them sunk in ass forehead people walking around here that are so aggro first. Uh, they they lack the frontal cortex to to properly reason yeah. that there are people greater than us here, they and we need to talk with them. To know. Like like a lot of people, their first reaction is immediately violence. You can't have no, I come in peace. What a, Think about it like this. You remember the story two years ago about that missionary dude that got killed because he went to that island where no mm-hmm. Europeans have ever been trying to go there and teach them people about the word of God? You're trying to teach them people how to fuck. I think I came across a video. And he, he was never ever seen again. And some rescue team went to go search for him, but I don't think he was ever discovered. I'm not, I have to really, really check, double check again, but I'm glad that Black Ron actually brought that up, you know? A missionary? That was the wrong, that was the point. I think that's where the whole word came from. They was like, phone it back, get him out of here, you know what I'm saying, but no. (laughs) But but, like, like, they didn't didn't let his boat, they didn't let his boat get 200 yards from the coast before they start bombarding him with arrows and shit, like, Fuck your conversation. Yeah. That's how we are as earthlings. To any, any movie they've shown us about visitors from other places, the, the military is the first motherfuckers to put up on them. Yeah. Imagine, though, if, a, if, 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 if they dropped 100 people off at Greyhound, mm-hmm. and them 100 people, 25 was you know Asian, 25 was African, 25 was European, 25 was you know whatever the fuck, uh, 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 Latina, whatever, mm-hmm. Spanish. Um, and that Greyhound is all they knew, and they never even told them that the name of it was Greyhound. Somebody in there would name it, and it wouldn't be Greyhound. Right. Like, nigga, this ain't Earth. Right. This right. ain't Earth, bro. They nobody even this knows. Ain't, this ain't what the nobody, other, country, yeah, other planets nobody, call this. Nobody even knows where the name but Earth came from. Yeah, other planets be like, oh, y'all from, y'all from oh, Nixall 61? Mm-hmm. You be like, nah, we from Earth. <laughs> nigga, no. They like, Earth. nigga, they like, nigga, so y'all cute. from the toilet? Yeah. That's some shit. Nigga, what if we'd have told it for the fucking... I'm just saying, a person mm-hmm. that was born in a Greyhound station, if that's the greatest thing they've ever been, like, what's a what's an airplane to a nigga that's born at the Greyhound station? But then, the so, and y'all been living there for 100 years, y'all done had all, and then somebody walk in there from McDonald's, you be like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. All we got is vending machine. Right. And you're like, here, take this food. It's just like, you have to always expand on the territory that you know about and then expand on the territory that knows about you, then expand on the territory that knows about them and expand on the territory that knows about them. It's always a a bigger... You're, you're asking for people to be so way too open-minded. They, they, they ain't adding no New Testament to the Bible. 
Look at these school kids who say they saw aliens. Why we why we wasting our time with these lying ass fucking kids? It's, these kids that look like that look like exactly what I think an alien look like. They they're, they're not even like I, like I said and uh, like CP mentioned. There's a lot of things we really haven't seen. So who who was to know that there is um other life forms out there somewhere? You can imagine that. If they are there, right, and they actually watch our every move and everything, boy, that's it. We will have another World War Three. Using their imagination, yeah, right? They're not even being. Come on hey, now, come on, come on, man. I, hey, these... if this your kid and your kid drew this, I get that you have to act amazed. But I don't want to see this is on not BBC a child News. Who saw an alien? That is a child who is telling on his cheating ass mama. Some bald head, big eye man in a minivan came, in came through in the middle of the night. It's was in the earth. And abducted my mama. And I heard. And that's Sam. the bed jumping up and down up at the top. With the, with... They say in Zimbabwe, these 62 kids at aerial school said that these aliens visited them and said that the humans were destroying the planet. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm going to say this. I believe it now because they're African kids. They should you should have lived with that. You should have said it was some sixty two babies. 62. You said it was one line ass. I child. thought one kid drew this. I'm sorry to the Zimbabwe yeah. children who yes. seen it. Like, wow, yes. TP, we, we really fucked with you. You left out the TP, why we would really you, fucked why with would you. Why would you not say that it was wow, Zimbabwe and children? Wow, we really was, you know, oh man, all man, all my all, all my Zimbabwe views gone. All yeah. right, so first of all, um Okay. <laughs> That's a lot of, of course, the aliens would go to Africa or go to some of these places where it's more just about the place. In America, dog, you realize how much we tear shit down and build new shit? That's a Nintendo 64 controller at the top. Always, I'm sorry. That nigga lying. We always try to, as a people, who was watching these kids? Ourselves. And it's always, we want to do better. But yeah. they went to Africa because it's cool, it's regular. Yep. Everybody know him, and they were like, what an alien, bro? You yep. right? want some Mbufu? They was dancing, and she didn't say want some Mbufu. But understand this, though. Why was nobody watching 62 kids? Yeah, where the teachers were? Where the, where, where the teachers at? They was drunk on whatever they gave all 62 of them babies. It's in let the water. Somebody had let the fufu go bad. They had let it sit outside. They were like, fuck it. They gave it to them. Let it That's one African dish that I would like to try is fufu. I want to try that. And it, it, had, it had got a little bit of fermented. Mm. And then... Um, Aerial school. Wait, well, I thought that was Rick James on that third row. Yeah, I'll bring up the, the Wikipedia. Because so it says that they were between the ages Damn, of 6 and the 12. Wikipedia? They saw one or more civil craft, which we saw. I just guess this is what in they 94? saw. 94? This happened in 94? Mm-hmm. Wow. This is, people have gone to visit oh, them. Oh, so this is before cell phones and internet. Them babies was not These lying. kids is my age damn near now. Right. They were telling the truth. Because mm -hmm. a six-year-old in 94 was born in 88. I got my first cell phone in, in my second year of college. Oh, these are all people that are our age. Mm -hmm. That was born from 1980 to 1988. Yeah, where they yeah, let's now. talk to them now. How many of they 62 ass is still alive to this day or has the government you about, you about hid some... and kidnapped all of them? Did. You talking about somebody who wrote you one of the biggest brunts. Let me talk to you about what I really seen. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? You, you be like, oh. Good shit. I was 12 yeah. years old. It was my second day. See, unfortunately. <laughs> at the school, I had just got a brand new shirt. Men in black came over there. Thing. Here look, look, everybody looking at this. Look at the top right here. Let's click that one at the top. That's when we saw it. Two egg cup titties landed in the field. Where are you <laughs> egg cup titties. Two egg cup Blow that titties. one up. Blow that one up. Told us to get Two shade egg cup there. European titties landed in the field. Told us, told us, and I quote, it's like rain. On your wedding day. <laughs> like a free ride. No That's aerial on that titty whatsoever. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Damn, that titty is not living no, 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 good. No, no, no. That guy one of them uh, Fourth of July nipples. Yeah, that, like, that three, very, two, like, one. That is a very middle school titty. That's childish titty. Oh, uh, man. I ain't seen no titties in middle school. And on the CP podcast, we do not condone. No. But, um. <laughs> Bro, if a 12 year old saw a 12 year old titty, that is perfectly yeah, fine. Yeah, but when I was 12, I looked eight, man. The hoes was not. Oh, Damn, I ain't getting get no run. Remember, girls just be like, he got a body. The girl take, oh, nigga, nigga take his shirt off. No, he got a body. He, he, he built. Like, 
Oh, well, and Detroit, he got about niggas could hoop and shit. I couldn't do now. I was just funny as hell. I hate when a dude had abs in seventh grade. Like, for what, bro? We ain't required to do nothing. They required six pay, whole ass boy. You just ready to go to prison, little motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I bet you have to be built like that when you ain't got no daddy. Like, I come from a hurtful place. Yeah. Yeah, that come from toting all the groceries yourself, huh? Single parent household hard on that boy. Got a muscular out here. It even made me feel bad for having a regular child body. Yeah, <laughs> for real. They develop different. Some people develop early. It says there were no adults available. Why? Why? All the grown folks mysteriously grown, mm. gone. Where were they at though? I don't understand. They were inside the building. I bet they were all put under sleep state. They probably. I'm gonna tell. Can I tell you this? The adults did this shit to the kids, and it's like, let's. Can I tell you something? What I want to do? Look, 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 listen, listen, listen. listen take them, city. take them, uh, take them four fiestas, okay? We are gonna wrap them bitches up. All right, meet me on the field. We gonna tell the kids that they're fucking up the planet and they gotta keep cleaning up because because they had because the, they had to fire the janitor. You right. And so they had the kids. That th- was a them conservation kids, project. Them kids cleaning up that goddamn school till they graduated yeah, high school. Like you are destroying the planet. It was growing vegetables and all kind of shit. And they just never told them psych. And they didn't have enough money for <laughs> new <laughs> balls in the PE program, so they was like gardening. Mm-hmm. That'll cover both ecology and PE. Come on, man. But I wish this was real though. What are they what are they saying about these new um articles? Go get somebody today and ask them, like find one of the mm. sixty two. That's what we need. We need somebody. They ain't list none of them kids' names. We need to Google them. Kids. There was somebody a documentary. They said forty two of them said I am Malcolm X. Oh, stupid. Yeah. They got I am Malcolm X. I am Malcolm X. I am Malcolm X. So, so Mike, if you were visited by an extraterrestrial being, I'm getting the selfie off top because fuck this, ain't nobody finna. But what call if they glow? Crazy. What if they glow and the camera won't? They they too iridescent. The camera won't pick up on them. They just look like a glowing ass. It looked like you took a picture next to a mirror. Record, because when you see it moving, you record. You see it yeah, you down. do some shit. Yeah, that's right. Selfie video. Mm-hmm. What, what what what? So if they from another planet, what if they got like the automatic, like you know how they got the privacy screen on the on the iPhone, where you turn and it go black? Why would they what need if they that? Got that they, on their skin. That's how much they've been studying this. They need mm-hmm. that because they know that we got cameras everywhere. Big Brother watching. They they want to be able to move through here unmonitored. Who said who, who said they Big Brother? That's the thing. No, I that's what they, they call have. the cameras that are always plugged in. Oh, Big Brother. Okay. I really think they're more advanced than us. They got to be. How do they have to? The be? thing because is, they, the, they can't because we don't know how to go to their planets, planets, but they know how to come to this one. How do you know we don't know how to go to their? Our cameras are built like our eyes, though. So it'd be a thing of like, if we really can't see them like that, then the cameras won't either. That mm. that has always That's been one of my problem. issues. And why? Who? Wow. That person behind the camera really, really gave a valid, valid point because we we create and invent things from the perspective of the way we see things, you know? So that is really, really true. So it's plenty of things that only if we have the opportunity to see it, we can only do it from our knowledge and our background and the way we see things, you know? That is really, really true. Are all the aliens always reptilian or cephalopod? Well, but see, that's the thing though. Cephalopod a lot, but you, but you ever notice like those are the two. That's a those, standard. Those are the yeah. two longest either, living things it's on this octopus, earth. Octopus, hella tentacles, right? Or some kind of lizard with eyes. Right. And then they tell you they're the reptilian, but they never talk about the tentacle aliens. They never tell you. They tell you about the tall whites. They tell you about the grays. They tell you about the reptilians. They tell you, they tell you about the nephilim. Yeah, but they don't tell you. Yeah, that's the giants, right? Yeah. 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 Half angel people. But see, here's the thing about reptiles. The anaconda grows every year that it's alive. Same thing with the with the with the with the um giant squid. So those motherfuckers keep growing uh as long as they're alive. As a matter of fact, they use giant squid right now and they're studying them to find out the if they have an immortality property that could be extrapolated and isolated and marketed to the pharmaceutical industry because those motherfuckers, have, they have no way of carbon dating mm-hmm. how old a giant squid is when they catch it. Damn. That's why the aliens and, and as a matter of fact, they don't catch giant squid. Them shits just wash up dead. Mm-hmm. On the beach. With big ass wounds in their body like they had a fight with another big ass giant squid, squid and you know. his dead body just floated up, just ascended up here to us. They say, imagine if 
the water is how we view heaven. heaven. Yeah. So if a motherfucker make it to the surface, they going to heaven. So how we look at how aliens abduct a motherfucker, we all right here, and then an alien just beam down, snatch you. That's how fish feel. They just swimming, and all of a sudden... Despite everything in this podcast, this guy really got to come back again because he really, really is dropping nuggets despite if you agree or disagree. Like a few things I might disagree on. He's really dropping nuggets, bro. Whoa. I love to hear stuff about documentary and stuff like that. It just piqued my interest. When you look on Netflix, I love their documentary section. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. Mm-hmm. Nigga just ah, take a nigga up to heaven. Never to be seen or heard from ever again. And they think that it's a surreal experience. Like one day the hook gonna come for me. Right, but really your ass. But really your fried. ass coming yeah. up here to a deep fry, like, G. Yeah. Like the clown uh on the video game, on Toy yeah, Story. Toy Remember Toy all the aliens like yeah. the Clyde. Yeah. Hey, Clyde, no nigga, you yeah. are in a game. It's a wrap, yeah. bro. So that feeds right into the belief that we're all living in a simulation. But I feel like these new these new pages that they just made available are gonna they're like they that's what I'm saying. They've been knowing stuff. Like for example, yeah, I, mean, I was gonna tie this together, right? If they if there's a forest six hundred and forty uh meters or feet down below the ground, then there's also or miles, I'm sorry, but below the ground. 630 feet. No, you're right. 638 feet Right, deep. then that means that, that they can burrow, they could be underground. They've been talked about underground tunnels. You talk about how the UFOs turn into USOs, go right. underground. They're amphibious. I mean, uh, underwater. Right. So the UFOs go underwater, and they're meeting up with bases and shit that we don't even know about They said sprint. They got sleeper cells they got right here downstairs. in the planet. Like, yeah, soon as wow. niggas start, there's going to be an intergalactic war, and I think that Earth... Is a fucking way station. It's a it's a it's a it's a, a supply base. No, it's like a good nesting ground. Like you ever seen how like look at look at nature. There are a lot of animals that migrate to nest because of the conditions of how you know you got alligators, you got um you got turtles, orcas, you got orcas, you got different birds that travel for miles to mm-hmm. go migrate just to. But this is where they want to put their young at to have a chance. And I mean, shit, it's no, I mean, shit, it's a lot of deep sea shit that we know nothing about. Nothing. And if something could go down there fast enough, like if something could hit the surface with no G force, a smooth vessel that could hit the ground, mm-hmm. bam! I'm talking about Joe. Hey, nigga, somebody hit the just, waters. no splash. <laughs> somebody just called y'all the Yin Yang twins. <laughs> Boy, put that picture up. Somebody, Somebody in the comments going hard. You ain't shit who said that. And the flies know it. I'm talking just hit the water. Damn, somebody just called With an engine. Right. Like no, hit no, the no, water not even and, a, and keep going. But not even an engine, like some kind of... Because mm-hmm. you, have you seen what they, how they move? Yeah, you're getting into it. Hold on. We really, really... We can't just um, pass the fact that this guy did a... Teardrop a fat that sound like a water dropping in a pond. That is really good. Ow. However, he did it. He did it so good. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they fucking killed y'all. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they kind of did because I got locks and you guys. Yeah, yeah they kind of killed, killed y'all. That was yeah, funny. damn. Oh, I didn't laugh. But no, nah, uh, but no, nah, like, hits the water and. At that speed, could he go knew. straight down, straight down. That's like, what I'm saying. And like a having bullet. right, but having like the the kind of sonar to know, like you know, some spots under the ocean, it's a cliff that we don't know about. It's right, under, you can't really get down no, to the bottom hit, right hit there. Hit the water with GPS. Yeah, GPS. Do, 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 bam, straight down to on this way. Yep. Here, hit this cave. Go yep. down there. Park right there. Yep. Dock that bitch. It's shit that we don't know. Send about. a homing signal back. Like I made it. Yep. Cool. Sit there. I believe. And wait for sleep. further instructions. Go to sleep. Yeah, go into dormant mode and await further instructions. That's how we have if tsunamis. that's the case, then we wouldn't need extraterrestrial plans because it would all be done within Earth. Well, that's the thing. But well, that's the thing. We, de- we degrading the breathable space. We're going to have to go somewhere. But if, if they are coming from Middle Earth, or Inner Earth, then we wouldn't need to have extraterrestrial planets. It could all be explained as coming from Earth. No, 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 no. They're coming from other planets, and they're embedding themselves into Middle Earth. I think that there's a hole at the top of the planet, just like the hollow Earth theory suggests, and they're going in. They can come out of the ocean. They can come into the the ocean. ocean. You go right through the top of the planet, and then the ocean is the only way to come out into the surface. 
But why why would you, you had then bus- complicate it's- it with other planets if we can't prove that? Now, if we are, um, if they are in the Earth and they can come in and out, why wouldn't we just assume that they're in the Earth? No, that's because they're 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 holding council with some of the highest beings on this planet that we know nothing about. And we just don't this, qualify. This, yeah, it's a meeting place. No, but they I know. But come. why why yeah. would we assume that there are extraterrestrials? This this could all be explained because you, you're Earth. saying they're interterrestrials. I don't, I don't yes. think we're the only one. Because I, I would I would say that for the fact that they have the ability to go into both atmospheres. Now hold on. Those That's are a, two areas where humans can't live. Wait, in deep she space. Just, and in deep water. She just brought up a good ass point though, because when you look at it like that, you know there are beings that are quote unquote inside inner Earth that have been here forever, and if they have vessels and vehicles and they can get to their shit through portals through the ocean to come pop up through hollow Earth, they're getting to different points inside. Like we don't, we think that the bottom of the ocean it'll crush us. That's why we can't go down there. Or nigga. You get to a point and you can bust through, or you you know what I'm saying like it's. But, but the, you get because to that. You... This is the one podcast that I can listen to when it's like this, where it has a lot of information about just random things that we all want to know. This is one thing that I I would listen to, just this. You know, I love it. Point, but in order to get to that point, you have to be able to live in an oxygenless environment. Right, but that's why, uh, and that's maybe. why human beings will never go there because we need the only two gases where that, that can make bubbles underwater are nitrogen and oxygen. When oxygen leaves, nitrogen takes up that void, so our lungs would fill up with nitrogen. It would suffocate us. Once you go a certain amount of deep or a certain but, amount of high. But Rondo, we used to couldn't snorkel. We used to couldn't scuba dive because we didn't have the technology to take oxygen underwater. So they're going to build some pressure. You know, they're yeah. going to, but what I'm telling you is that in a, a more advanced society, have you seen the, yeah, the, guy, the Eternals? I keep bringing that movie up I like every, movie. every fucking But they got, they got other pressure they stuff. That's they got, okay. that's why saw, I say they smarter You than saw us. how my man had all that technology that they couldn't even fathom. And he was like, nah, we'll give it to him this time. We'll give it to him. It's like, bro, it's literally... If there's a problem with our lungs, that could be fixed with a modification to any kind of technology or some shit that we never even heard of. Well, in the future, they never list any of these problems. In the future, motherfucker got a goddamn glass dome that can reach. The Eternals, is that a YouTube series? I don't, I, I, haven't, I haven't heard about that. It's so interesting, though. I gotta check it out. Track that has a, a breathable environment in it as soon as the helmet comes up. Like when they always show space travel, motherfuckers can can breathe, they're regulated the air, and but there's always something that happened on Earth that made the air unbreathable. Mm-hmm. So where's all this chemically treated air coming from that's safe to breathe? Like they answered all the questions in all the future shit. Well, what they without knew, telling us how they got to the answer, well, they didn't show they work. Well, right, you know, like one plus one is two, and if you can, if you if you know that every hour you're going to add one to your total, then it's easy to determine that in 100 years, however many minutes 100 years is going to take, you can add those ones, right? Right. So when they started to, to develop cars, when they started to develop different hairsprays and different electronics, and those started to emit different chemicals and different um, you know, things that they started to see, like, man, this is going to, like, they could do the, 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 uh, like, the projective science and be like, okay, well, this much square of miles, and and eventually they feel like there's going to be a big enough hole in the ozone where the air is not going to be correct anymore. Right. And so that's what kind of, you know, that's that's those are like catastrophic um, hypothesis predictions. Like the movie you know Day After Tomorrow, mm-hmm. which right. is one of my greatest fucking sci-fi films, bro. Because we, we live in that shit right now. Look mm-hmm. at all these... Like severe weather events that are happening. The tsunamis out of nowhere. Bro, it was a blizzard that hit Dallas. Fucking blizzard. We were seventeen below for two weeks in in Dallas, in Texas. Dallas. Come on, bro. We I know y'all know. was mad as hell. Them cowboy boots yeah. get cold, don't they? <laughs> well, we... No, what you find out is no shoe is really equipped to handle ice. Ice. Oh yeah. Boot Jordan loafers. What about the about Sketchers. the shoes that you have to wear when you're working in the kitchen? Sketches. Them non-slip joints. The yeah. athletic shoes. All that means is now you finna ski rather than bust your ass. Yeah. Now you finna fall with style. You gonna do this for six for? Uh, 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 Mama, <laughs> hey, catch me. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. You walking remember, on banana peels. I remember when Freeway said, "Real men feet don't slip." 
I was such an impressionable young man. Every time I slipped, I was like, man, I'm not a real man. Yeah. <laughs> not yet. I'm not a fucking real man. Because Freeway said, man, it was real like man feet don't shit. slip. It was like a hyperbolic shit in rap music that fucked up what we thought men mm-hmm. were. The government fucking up how we thinking. They've been transforming our minds. Like, do you know how many niggas world? thought that you wasn't a man if you cried? Do you know how good it feel to cry by yourself mm-hmm. as a grown ass man? Oh my hey. god! I watched Bodyguard two months ago, like as a grown man, and I understood like they had flowers. When she got to like, the end, that right there, I was like, "Cut, y'all cut niggas. girl!" <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Girl. What's the, okay? What's what's one movie that made y'all cry? Oh, now, now that I'm a Seven father, pounds. now that I'm a father, Pursuit of Happiness when Cuz was in the bathroom with his feet pushed up against that door and dude kept trying to break in, and he was like, "Hey, son, we." We going camping and niggas had to pretend they was in the forest and shit, bro. And they was in a subway bathroom, G. Yeah. Every real daddy cried on that one. I just kept looking at him like, shut your rich ass up. This nigga rich as hell. This little boy rich as hell. They the rich as hell. Playing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, playing, playing bro. bro. Yeah. That, that, bathroom oh, probably, game? that bathroom probably smells amazing. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Ain't no real piss on that floor. I tell you, I tell you what, boy, what brought the tears out of me, boy. What? Best man holiday. Oh, my nigga. If you ain't crying on that, you ain't got no soul. First of all, and then I hate black women sometimes because y'all Uh-oh. spoiled the mood. Oh, you oh. That sound so, so, so wrong. Please correct yourself, Black Rod. All right, that's it. It's all oh, yeah. crazy. Oh, fold yeah, your arms in. Really... Oh, and let me say last week, brother, she that you was me. in here by yourself and a mirror. Turned on you, flip flop like a house shoe. Damn. Would not hold you down. Everybody you on that whole debate. Everybody saw Damn. where you was going with that. Men can't be hoes if it's a buyer's market. He first forty eight. That two. was the only part your argument was was missing. And I was I was hoping I I was wishing I could have been in here with you because they out estrogen you and oh. you acquiesced the argument as not to let the show go around. I thought right. we came to an understanding. No, y'all. He just let y'all have that. That's what you do when there's yeah, more women in the room. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I got hit up so much about that in the last couple of days. Like, what are you doing, man? You got to stand on that, man. Yeah. Like, you was hitting. I, you was hitting all the right points. Yeah. But you then you quoted. Saying? You quoted the pariah. What I say? Bishop Samuels. You led with Bishop Samuels. And anytime women are, they they got a reactionary feeling about him right now. Oh yeah, but, Kevin Samuels. But to the point that made uh, Maya so indignant, I hate black women for the simple fact that y'all can't keep. Shit to y'all self. As soon as y'all saw the movie and saw that it was a tearjerker part off in there, they came back like, you gonna cry when you watch it. So the whole movie, you like, damn, this the part that's gonna make me cry. Uh, this uh, the part that's gonna make me... And it was, was like, it was like five tearjerking moments in the whole movie. Like, nah, that wasn't cry. That wasn't cry worthy. But at the end, when that nigga was that nigga knees pushing, buckled, yeah, he was trying to push it for that touchdown. And, and you saw how little Morris Chestnut legs is compared to some NFL players. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you was like, nigga, he is acting. <laughs> you were like, nigga, you're not finna score with them little ass legs. He was like, uh, 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 uh. I'm like, nigga, come on, Lance. Man, that nigga scored and got to the hospital and she was gone. Bro, and, oh, I'm talking about, man, and then he was nigga, being all tough. Bro. He was being all tough and Lance the whole movie and then. Mm-hmm. They got through with the funeral. He broke down and that he, grave. He hit him with the old school slave sniffle. And, <laughs> and then Tay, out of all people, turned around. I'm going to miss that pussy too, bro. It was like, my dog, I got to catch him. And then he like almost caught him, but didn't catch him. But yeah, he that nigga was big him. as hell, yeah. Them niggas laid on the ground and cried like two hoes. In the yeah. grave. Bro. I couldn't lay down with the nigga who was fucking my wife at any moment. He fucked your wife before that was your wife, Yeah, though. but at the funeral, bro, stay over there for a second, okay? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm the only reason, only reason why Morris Chestnut feelings was hurt was from the beginning. He was like, hey, yo, dog, that's you? He was like, nah, bro, that's a good girl. She work here. He was like, hook me up. Bro, you a dog. I'm not going to hook you up with that good-ass girl. Bro, hook me up. Mm. And then he dogged her out. And then she went to him for solace. Mm. So out of... All out of every, that was why the movie was called The Best Man. Yeah, he really dogged her out. I saw that man mansion he dogged her out in. Yeah, it wasn't that you was the best man in the movie. You were the best man for that woman. Mm-hmm. But you you wasn't man enough to grab your balls and be her man 
because that's you didn't you feel like you had that nigga, all the that, stuff that, that, that Lance didn't want had. Mia? What the fuck? He wanted the hell out of Mia. He wouldn't have never. He wouldn't have never fucked if he didn't want her. Duh, she was cold. I mean, in in the book, he made it seem like man, she wanted her revenge, and she knew what time it was, and she and I was yeah. just a friend for her. I was a friend. Why, why? Why do you have to be the facilitating ass nigga? You wanted that woman. You just felt like. So then, dude, well, so then, well, what dude, was he doing with with uh, with uh, Nia Long then? Because that that is that is the relationship that he knows is doomed from the start. And dudes will take the path of least resistance. This is an ego thing that men have. We- um, to a certain extent, I do agree. When asking a woman out, if you if you get rejected time and time and time again. To be honest, it's going to be really, really hard to actually build up a confidence unless you're built, unless you're built like Iron Man to um, go to a woman that you really, really know that it's a possibility that she might reject you again. It's really, really hard for that situation for a guy to, to do that repeatedly over and over and over. So they will, I would say downgrade their expectations on who they choose, you know? But I do agree with that to a certain extent because there are still guys out there that, that always go after their dream girl, you know? And I respect that. We will yes. not holler at the woman that we want out of fear of rejection. Mm-hmm. We'll instead take all of the lesser, weaker, sicker antelope that are running in the herd <laughs> with her. This is a mistake. Cause your antelope. You gotta, you gotta go after the girl you want, or else you're gonna hit him up later and say you're the one that got away. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, so what? So what? You, what, what happens is you hope that two things happen throughout the course of the time. You, you, you hope that yeah. you you get up on your shit enough to attract her, and she falls off enough so that y'all that levels can even up. This is what hey, Kevin Sanders was said, talking somebody about. Somebody said, shut your Kentucky Derby hat ass up. <laughs> Yeah, I'm over here flying. Who are these people, man? I bet your mama think I'm cute. <laughs> oh, I lost the but, but no, yeah, think about it, though. Uh, Dudes love hitting up that girl in high school that got away on some, hey, you, can I explain I always to you? Can I explain you. it to you? This is, this is what I think the problem is, and let me know if y'all agree. We push maturity on young girls and we don't allow our young girls and our young boys to kind of blossom at the same time. And so what happens is these good little young men who like your daughter are looking at your daughter like she way too old and way too grown and way too because, you know, we push a little bit more maturity on mm-hmm. the girls. And sometimes girls in high school, and they, they seem like they got all that shit together. And it's not until you get older and you start realizing, like, man, these women don't know shit. She and just these, and, and, and these, these women need a man for these things. And I need a woman for these things. And I understand, like, now I have a more of a, a, a sense of my value. And I think that girls are kind of preached a blanket across the board value for what a woman is. And little boys are not told that they're beautiful. They're not told that they're handsome. They're not told that they, Unless you know what I'm saying, gotta, you gotta right. You got to be undoubtedly good looking as a young boy. Yeah, but I'm not talking right. But even, you know what I'm saying, but I'm not. I'm talking about like, self-esteem. we right. tell, we, but you tell ugly little girls they're beautiful. Yeah. Right, that's what I'm saying. We don't tell ugly little boys that they're beautiful. But, right, but we you tell him, learn how to fight, learn right, how to work but, hard, but, but the point I'm trying nice. to make is that like, you know, there's a lot of having to come out from under yourself as a young man. Mm-hmm. Society is all, you know, you getting big. Mm-hmm. So society want to fuck you up, but you still a youngin' in you the don't mind. You don't get to find yourself until Ooh. you're an adult. Exactly. And yeah. so I think that it's just not the time to be trying to go after anybody that's not sympathetic to what it means to be you yeah. at that time. And as a, as a young man, it's hard to get through that. And I don't think little girls are taught to really see that. Like, little girls are taught everything except for how to look at Little boys. Uh, well, and, and, okay, so to that point, there are a lot of there are a lot of women who they go through this. Right now, it's, it's called the whole phase or the bald head whole shit. They uh-huh. go through this this this. You know, I want to live my life on my own terms. You know, under my own definitions yeah, I because I want to get out of every. I want to get out from under everybody else's rule, everybody else's plan for my life. I want to live life on my own volition. Mm-hmm. This is causing them a lot of times to get into a lot of fruitless relationships or a lot of base level relationships, it's not until they wise up and see, I want somebody for who makes me feel good on the inside, who treats me right. Well, now, 
all those other dudes that you were shitting on while you were on your bald head hoe shit are the ones who have amassed enough security, stability, and shit. But now his feelings hurt. Yeah, I'm fucking with you. We never address the fact that men get our feelings hurt in seventh grade by women that we will forever chase. That chick who told you you was ugly in seventh grade, single me out. Which camera I'm on? That that chick that hurt your feelings in middle school is the one you're still trying to impress. Same thing with girls. That dude who told you your booty was little in ninth grade <laughs> is the one you killing yourself in the gym trying to impress. Mm -hmm. And until we address that within ourselves, until we're honest enough with ourselves to say, my self-esteem is based off somebody else's skewed view of me. We'll never get to a position where we're able to yeah. appreciate people for who they are and what they bring into our life. We'll always be, hey, you, mm. hey, big head and That's motherfuckers a... circling back to people that we shitted on once before. That's you accurate. Know? People don't know who they are because, you know, hatred made you Some push. dudes go to the gym right now because a chick called him weak in ninth mm. grade. She did him a favor. She didn't what do him a favor. Now oh. he's at the gym. So so the girl so with the BBL. Right. Right. So the girl yeah. with the BBL, did the dude do her a favor when he told her she would no. build like olive oil? Oh. No. So why is I, it a I'm favor not, when I'm a woman kills surgery. a man's self-esteem? I'm not for surgery. Because he went to the gym and he made himself better. But the now, woman. But, but, but now he gotta eat creatine. He didn't gave himself testicular atrophy. You don't have to eat His digging balls are small now and shit. He bald at the top now. In the middle. He overly aggressive. Mean road rage. Yeah, he throw his weight around. He, he walks around. And most that. dudes that most dudes that go that become a gym rat turn into bouncers and security guards uh, and shit that are dickheads. That is absolutely true. That's Just like most true. police officers were oh. punks in high school that got picked on. Yeah. And it was like, as soon no as I get big man. enough, I'm going to get a gun, I'm going to get a badge, I'm going to get some muscles, mm -hmm. and ain't nobody going to pick on me ever again. Ain't yeah, nobody going to make like, me nigga, feel you small. you 6'3". Anybody pick on your tall ass, man. Yeah, he but the nigga just wasn't always 6'3". Hell, I'm t I can tell you that from example. I graduated high school, I was 5'6". For real? Hell yeah. God got a sense of humor. Sometimes he don't give you all the shit you need for adulthood until all the people that you like don't like you. Don't like you. Now you like it. Ooh. I got it now. Ooh, I like that. Oh, man. He went to the gym and he made himself better. But, the now, but, but now he got to eat creatine. He didn't give himself testicular right. atrophy. You don't have to eat His creatine. digging balls are small now and shit. <laughs> he bald at the top now. In the, in the middle. He <laughs> overly aggressive. Mean road rage. Yeah. He throw his weight around. He, he walks around. And most that. dudes that most dudes that go that become a gym rat turn into bouncers and security guards uh, and shit that are dickheads. That is absolutely true. That's Just like most true. police officers were oh. punks in high school that got picked on. Yeah. And it was like, as soon no, as I get big man. enough, I'm gonna get a gun. I'm gonna get a badge. I'm gonna get some muscles. Mm -hmm. And ain't nobody gonna pick on me ever again. Ain't man, nobody gonna make like, me nigga, feel you small. Six three. Anybody pick on your tall ass man? Yeah, he but just, the nigga wasn't always six three. Hell, I'm t I can tell you that from example. I graduated high school. I was five six. For real? Hell yeah. God got a sense of humor. Sometimes he don't give you all the shit you need for adulthood until all the people that you like. Don't like you. Don't like you. Now you like. I got it now. Look, what are you? Well, all I'm saying now, everyone who goes to the she gym. She did him a favor by telling him she that him the body favor. he had wasn't good enough. Hey man, okay. women, well, women body shape. Women That's amazing facts that he gave. I love that quote. Sometimes God don't give you all the things that you need and tell everybody that you like, don't like you, or something like that. That's really, really good. Mm, I love that. Women body shame dudes all the time, and we just got to take that as that's her standard. Meanwhile, a man cannot tell a woman his standard because all of a sudden we're shaming all women. But I don't know about that. Oh, all now I you don't know. know nothing about that. Oh, See, look, first I of go, all, first of all, hold on, wait. Stop attacking mine. First of all, with that my you got that goddamn uh, peacoat uh, hat on. <laughs> <laughs> Leave her alone. That goddamn peacoat skin. You know I mean, peacoats are cute, but this goddamn hat. First of all, second of all, uh, the way she folded her arms earlier yeah, when I couldn't even get yeah. my point out about the movie. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Anthony Hamilton playing Django. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony Django? Django Anthony Hamilton, Hamilton is Django, Django on Broadway. Hamilton. Yeah, anyway. And the um, point of it all is we's free. No, but I do feel what you're saying, but I do feel also, too, like um, a lot of the residual men get their feelings hurt thing is the is the the being cold to women and being... Um, unresponsive to communicate and all of that kind of stuff, the stuff that women say they hate, right? Because you 
you you got a woman, but you have not healed what you what is really wrong with you. True. And so that means that the woman that you got is not even the woman that you really need because she met a person that wasn't really um, healed. You met a broken person. And, you know, she could be taking advantage of you, and you don't even realize that taking advantage of... Y'all both of, taking advantage of each other. Right. That's a lesser mm-hmm. woman who's with a lesser version of the man you are. Mm-hmm. Y'all that's both doing each other a disservice. Yeah, mm-hmm. and so, you know, that's there. there's also that. They call it trauma bonds and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, I want to get right back to this UFO thing, because we got to wrap it up. I got I to get to my daughter's uh, violin recital. So. Well, she playing violin. She played the violin and had she a recital a What's funny is I'll tell y'all a story real quick. She had a recital today at school mm. for the for the student body, and then the she, she has one tonight for the parents. Oh. So right, so me and my wife are gonna go, but my youngest daughter went to her recital at school today. And you know, kids have no mercy. She's like, Man. y'all ain't missing shit. She was whack as fuck. Like, it was, it was. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, don't do that to my baby. Don't give fuck. She three kills. Oh, we man. went over this shit all night. She was like, proud of it. She didn't even play. I saw her. She was just like. Damn. I was like, why well, you snitch on my baby? I don't, do, I don't give a fuck if my baby get up there and lip sync. I'm finna, hey, I'm finna but, go but, crazy. But, and but, I got to get her some low flowers. Key, low key, you kind of appreciate that because she put your expectations oh, yeah, right yeah, where yeah, they yeah. need to be. But man, my youngest baby, man, she just she Damn, is, she she is an all the way comedian, man. First of all, as a black man, and I know you are, you know what I'm saying, degreed, learned, you right. know what I'm saying, computer science degree and everything like Digital that. Media arts. Yeah, you know. Michigan State. Yeah, that boy, he's smart, smart. Um, I also have a computer science degree. That's dope. Mine's oh, not computer oh science, so it's just digital media arts. <clears throat> my step up, but I hear what you're saying. Though. So as a father, married, two daughters, mm-hmm. conscious, right? how do you feel about them having your black baby up there fiddling in front of all them white folks? <laughs> 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 it's all good unless she stomp her foot. If she pat her fucking foot, no, like man. Doing, I'm I think my I baby think, up and we leaving. I you think that, man. Oh, yeah. I, you know what's crazy? <laughs> when I was her age, I was playing the cello. Right. Mm, okay. And so, you know, it's like uh, I used to hate lugging that big motherfucker home. I was taller than you. That motherfucker was taller than you. To this me. day. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a base is probably, but no. Nah, cello's about like four feet. You know what I'm saying? I was like. Nigga, no, it isn't. Four feet. A, a, a cello? A good five and a half feet tall. Nigga, no. Yes. No. Maya. In high school. Look up the facts. No. Look up how long oh. a cello is. <laughs> I think the cello is tall as me. I thought that's what no, you were no, saying. No, 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 no. I would not objectify you by having you just stand up to prove a point. But, no, I played the cello. I didn't like it, but as I got older, that shit was lit. I still remember how to play it. You got uh, I played you it for a couple years. I mean, I, I, I did a couple parent patches, you know what I'm saying? I had a couple of solos. I ain't going to lie to you. You know what I'm saying? I'm a bad motherfucker. I, I, was, I, was, I was doing uh, child plays and shit. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm a bad motherfucker. Bad motherfucker, man. You know, man. It's me, baby. Uh, what's that? Oh, four and a half. No, no, it those are all violins. how old you were. Mm. I was uh I was uh eleven, so I started at eleven. See, then I say then I say four. five and a half feet. Where you see that at? Cello. Three, four, four and a half to five feet. Four and a half. Uh, uh-uh. it's four the, out of four. Uh-uh. Full size cello. No, uh-uh. no, it's the. I was playing the one two though. I was I was eleven. Oh no no yeah seven to eleven. Seven to eleven. So you're playing the one two. Yeah, I was playing four the one two. Four and a half four, feet. Four and a half feet. Yeah, mine was like four and a half. Oh okay. Yeah 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 yeah. Five feet and above is a four four. It's goddamn. I feel like because mm. the only reason why I know this. Is because I was just at the music store and, and I picked saw a cello a up, cello and I was yeah. like, "Damn, this a bass." He was like, "That's a cello. Put it down." I was like, "Oh, my bad, nigga." Yeah, I played the one too. God damn, it's some big ass cellos. Think about me being the size of that one too, walking around with a big ass one two on my back. Bro. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. So my daughter played me. I'm happy that she does that. You know what I'm saying? Like my youngest daughter is just an overachiever. She's killing it. She like she does science. She swims. Mm-hmm. She does um, uh, dance. She's in dance. She we need a... more black kids playing classical instruments. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I like to push the envelope on the kid. My son, he's over and she and he just hit a game buzzer. Beat it. Shout out to my son. Hey, you know <laughs> shout out to celebrity son, yeah, man. Yeah, we... What you? What's his nickname? Uh, B list celebrity. That'd be sweet as hell. He was like little celebrity. You know what I'm saying? Celebrity B list. You know what I'm saying? Celebrity. This is. This is my son, co-star, and, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? He's extra. You know what? <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm my daughter feature. <laughs> I'm, I like the fact that my daughter is a normal-ass kid. I was raised to be an overachiever and shit, so, like, well, I be talking to my daughter about school and shit. She really don't give Like, she's in the anime. She's, like, she got her, she's her, in her the marching band. Like, she has her interests, but, like, 
She like going to school for the social element. But shout out to our kids though. Like you look at like our kids, like even like kids that are like the kids of famous kids, like 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 Bronny and kids like that. This this generation where they don't have to get us out the hood. They have no interest. It's not in their responsibility, in our no. right? And and so you watching your DNA be what it's gonna be. I had, I was pressured. Like my, my mom, like gotta to go to college what the and be this. I want yeah. to be, which is whatever yeah. the fuck she wants to be, Listen, bro. I cannot hoop. At all, I'm a yeah, singer. I can't hoop either. Hey, My son, Chef Curry with me. I hit a three in the celebrity game. Yeah, in the Netflix is a joke celebrity game. Okay, nigga yeah. hit a three on that bitch. Okay, I had my I had my chain uh, on. Poster. I look like Norm Nixon out that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, chain. good necklace, James. Yeah, I shot the ball is Watch out. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Anyway, y'all, this has been another episode of CP Podcast, man. I really want to thank. Black Ryan and Celebrity Man for coming through. You know what I'm saying? I want to uh, thank Maya, yeah. who had to endure uh, fucking uh, uh, Kung Lao, uh, Kung Leo, <laughs> Kung Leon. Kung Lao, nigga. Kung Leon. Hell nigga, Kung no. Leon over here. I just goddamn. had to make sure Maya put me on the wedding invitation list because, like, now I'm on the forefront of her mind because she's going to go home arguing. That motherfucker Black Ryan said then when she making that list months from now, when she get the bees, she gonna send you the invitation and say, "Leave them big ass necklaces at home. I don't need anything clinking when I'm having my mom. Yeah, <laughs> I don't need anything clinking. Leave your big ass piece of earth that you wear at home. No, nah, but um, I'm gonna get Maya some Air Force One ice skates. Goddamn me, they're gonna look like Jays. We're gonna have a face. Bro, painted Maya, on them. Maya does so much shit like dance, paint, um, skate, yeah, paint, feed the skate. Homeless. Yeah, well, you know, yeah. Well, stop well, doing that, but... Well, Tony's not I homeless, like but... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, stay with her now. So now nah, she's shout out my boy Tony. Anyway, Maya, Amir, y'all know what it is, I man. Mean, all yeah. the C-peeps out there, man. Yeah. All the caffeine peeps, you know what I'm saying? I know Kim Younger watching this. Shout out to Kim Younger. Shout mm -hmm. out to all y'all fans, bro. Yours, the C-peeps, the more mob... The Kev on stage, stage yeah. crew. People like have, Hippie, who yeah, just across the board. She got all the Infinity me. Stones. Yeah. Since fucking with y'all. Yeah, bro. bro. Like, Girl, I our appreciate fans, y'all. Our man. fans will take care of you, man. Like, not even, you know, like, they just make sure that, you know, hey, your audio bad. If it's even nothing like, hey, get that negative comment out of here. We don't, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro. Like, yeah, hey, get out. the booger. Yeah, yeah, especially hey, you. Man. Big as my nose is, tell me if I got hey, the booger. Man, we out, man. Peace out, y'all. Yes, sir. That was a wonderful episode by CP. They need to bring Black Ron back. My thoughts about this episode is that everything that was said, including the U the um the alien abduction, whatever, the UFO sighting and stuff like that. For years, for years, we've been hearing stories about aliens and. We, we don't know if it's true. We do not know if it's true or not, to be honest. Only time will tell. Because even even with the, the thought about having something that is dig deep in the ground, the fake tree, I don't know how much feet, I forget how much feet it was, but to have something like that deep in the earth, that is ridiculous, like, we really don't know what is out there. Like, we we cannot really understand the gravity of it. You know, we haven't really discovered a lot of things in the ocean, even in space. But other than that, oh my goodness, there was a lot of information shared. I really enjoyed it personally. It's always a pleasure to have you guys watch this with me. I will be uploading more videos in the future, so stay tuned. Until next time, this is your boy Steph Riot. I'm out of here.